if you look at some, some illustrations of how much debris there is, I look at that and I say, that's why the aliens never visit. <laughs> <laughs> they can't get through. Yo, crazy! What are you doing here? Well, the New York Times says, alive or dead, there are nine thousand satellites circling up there. More than half are Elon Musk's or from Elon Musk's company, Starlink. But what's happening in terms of your profession is that when you try to look through a telescope, it's like looking through a windshield filled with bugs. You know, splattered bugs. Yeah, they they just cross in front of your field of view. And so it's kind of interesting at first, it's novel. Oh my gosh, I'm observing an orbiting satellite. But then, you, then they become anno annoying and basically evil at some level because we have a telescope now just coming online. It's called the Vera Rubin Telescope, named after uh, a recently deceased, well, six years ago or so, a member of my community who was a pioneer in the study of dark matter. And this telescope is basically going to take movies of the entire night sky every night. And you might say, well, what's the point of that? Think about it. Before that, I would go to the telescope, take a picture. Suppose that object changed an hour after I took that picture. I wouldn't know. So our understanding of cosmic phenomenon for the last century has been brought to you by still pictures. If you take a movie, you can track things like potentially hazardous asteroids. By the way, the asteroid that has my name on it is not headed towards Earth. <laughs> I verified that before I agreed, because you don't want that to be the one that takes out civilization. <laughs> asteroid Tyson coming in. To, uh, can, so. I, can I pause for one minute? Why haven't telescopes been able to take motion pictures before? Well, it's not that they haven't been able to. It's that they weren't designed to. But why not? It makes so much sense that you would want to have a, re a record. Well, for most things, we presume they wouldn't be changing while you're observing them. Stars live billions of years, and you're observing them for one night. So you know, if I observed you for 10 minutes, you, I presume you're not going to change morph, relative morph to, an alien. to your life exp expectancy. So for most things, we don't expect them to change. That's true, uh, over the time you're observing them. But for the rest of the phenomenon out there that you might not be looking at, they go bump in the night, and you didn't know to be there when they would go bump in the night. But a full movie of the entire sky at so all times will do that. Because it's an unbiased view of the sky. It's not targeting one place or another. Here's the problem. It's going to be discovering asteroids that cross Earth's orbit. We call them near-Earth asteroids. 100% of them will ultimately collide with Earth. We want to know where those are. They're crossing the field of view. But if that's crossing the field of view, and I got an Elon Musk satellite crossing the field of view, that creates a noise level, a visual noise level, that contaminates the data you're actually after. And I don't want to miss a satellite that could take us out. So this, this confuses the data, the more of these satellites that you put up there.